All right, today we are reading the Cars Read Along Storybook. Lightning McQueen is fast, but sometimes it takes more than just speed to win a race. To find out if Lightning has what it takes to become a real champion, buckle your seat, belt, and read along with me from your book. You'll know when t it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Start your engines. It's go time. It was the final race of the season, and Lightning McQueen was in the lead. But on the final turn, his tires blew, blew out. It was a three-way tie. A tiebreaker race was to be held in California in one week, so Lightning drove into his trailer and set off with his driver, Mac. California, here we come. Later, after hours of driving, a weary Mac started to doze off. Some pranksters began nudging him back and forth. In the jostling, the trailer door opened. A sleeping Lightning slipped down the ramp of the trailer, jolted awake. Lightning looked everywhere for his driver. Mac! 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 Wait for me! He followed a truck off the interstate, but then he realized it wasn't Mac. Confused and lost, Lightning wound up racing through the small town of Radiator Springs, when, where he lost control and crashed into just about everything. When it was all over, Lightning wound up caught in a telephone wires. The road was ruined. A police car named Sheriff glared at him. Boy, you're in a heap of trouble. The next morning, Lightning found himself in traffic court. The doors burst open, and the judge, Doc Hudson, rolled in. All right, I want to know who's responsible for wrecking my town, Sheriff. But Doc one, took one look at Lightning and stopped short. Throw him out of here, Sheriff. Case dismissed. Just then, a Porsche entered. Sorry I'm late, Your Honor. It was Sally, the town attorney. Come on, make this guy fix the road. The town needs this. Reluctantly, Doc changed his mind, and Lightning was sentenced to remain in Radiator Springs and fix the road. Later that day, Doc introduced Lightning to Bessie, a road paving machine. So we're going to hit you up to a sweet Bessie, and you're going to pull her nice. As soon as he could, Lightning zoomed away. Woohoo! Goodbye, radi Radiator Springs. But he didn't get far before he ran out of gas. Lightning realized that the sooner he fixed the road, the sooner he'd make it to California. Within an hour, he had finished the job, but he hadn't done it well. Doc pulled up. The deal was, all, was you fix the road, not make it worse. Now scrape it off. Hey, look, Grandpa, I'm not a bulldozer. I'm a race car. Whoa, then why don't we have a little race, me and you? If you win, you go and I fix the road. If I win, you do the road my way. Later, at a dirt track outside of the town, the two cars sat at the starting line. Lightning took off like a bullet while Doc slowly started down the track, but Lightning sped into a turn, lost control, and drove into a cactus patch. Doc easily won the race. You drive like you fix roads, lousy. After losing to Doc, Lightning worked through the night on the road. By morning, there was a beautifully paved new section of road. Lightning headed off to the dirt track. He wanted to try the turn he'd missed the day before. He tried again and again, but he kept skidding out. Then Lightning saw Doc watching. If you're going hard enough left, you'll find yourself turning right. Lightning scuffed. What did Doc know about racing? The next morning, Lightning was back at work on the road. All the town folks were, were so inspired by how wonderful it looked that they began cleaning up their shops. The whole town was starting to look brand new, but lightning was still dirty. Sally got them all soaked up. That night, Mater the tow truck snuck lightning out of town for some fun. Mater showed lightning his crazy backwards driving moves. Whoa, that was incredible. How'd you do that? I'll teach you if you want. Maybe I'll use it in my big race. The next day, Lightning wandered into Doc's garage. Just then, Doc, on, Doc entered. Sign says, stay out. You have three piston cups. You're the Hudson Hornet. Lightning, Lightning realized that Doc had been a famous race car, but Doc didn't want to talk about it and slammed the door in Lightning's face. Later, Sally invited Lightning to go for a drive. The view was breathtaking, but on the nearby interstate, cars just sped by. 
Sally would tell Lightning all about the town in its heyday and her dream of returning Radiator Springs to its former glory. A little while later, Lightning came upon Doc roaring around the dirt track and was truly impressed. You still got it. Under the hood, you and I are the same. We are not the same, understand? Doc told Lightning how the racing world had left him long ago after he had a big crash. Doc, I'm not them. Oh yeah? When was the last time you cared about something else? Something except for yourself, Hot Rod. Just finish that road and get out of here. Early the next morning, the townsfolk awoke to find the road finished and no sign of lightning. The l then, lightning appeared. He said he couldn't leave without getting new tires from Luigi and Guido. They were thrilled. Our first real customer in years. Lightning bought something from every shop in town. Lightning, lightning even had a surprise for Sally. On his cue, the townsfolk turned on their newly repaired neon, neon signs. Sally was amazed. The town looked like it and did it in its, in its heyday. Suddenly, vehicles swarmed into town. In an instant, Lightning was surrounded by reporters. Will you still race for the Piston Cup? Mac pulled up and urged Lightning to come with him. Lightning tried to say goodbye to Sally, but no words would come. She spoke to for him, thank you, thanks for everything. After Lightning had gone, Sally learned that Doc had called the reporters to tell them where Lightning was. He knew that would get Lightning out of town. It's best for everyone, Sally. A few days later, as Lightning raced into the big race, all he could think of was Sally. By the time he snapped out of it, he was heading straight for the wall. He hit his brakes hard and spun into the infield. He felt like giving up. Then he heard a familiar voice. I didn't come all this way to see you quit. It was Doc. He was in pit row with a bunch of the Radiator Springs gang. Doc had realized he'd been wrong about Lightning. Now Doc wanted to help him win. Kid, get back out there. Back in the race, Lightning was, was more than a lap behind, but he caught up by using some fancy driving. Then, on the final lap, Chick Hicks bumped, it, bumped him and sent him spinning, but Lightning used Doc's turn right to go left move and shot into the lead. Then, as Lightning raced for the checkered flag, he heard the crowd gasp. Chick had rammed into the King, a legendary race car about to retire. Lightning saw the King in the infield. It reminded him of Doc's big crash. Instead of crossing the finish line, Lightning hit the brakes and went back to help. The King was confused. What are you doing, kid? I think the King should, should finish his last race. Lightning pushed the King across the finish line. Lightning had finished in last place, but he had shown everyone what makes a real champion. A few days later, Lightning headed back to Radiator Springs. He told Sally about his plans to set up his racing headquarters there. Really? Oh well, oh well there goes the town. And with that, Sally raced off. Lightning happily took off after her. Yeah, ka-chow. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching.